grateful uh, to Neil Wanderville for the extraordinary job he's doing in our recovery effort. Thank you, Neil. We appreciate all your great work. And to all the people that are assembled here today, when Irene hit us six weeks ago, I don't think that any of us would have, been, would have anticipated how much damage a storm could do. But you know, as soon as our small brooks and rivers uh, turned back into meandering streams and the rocks stopped piling down, Vermont got to work, first in the recovery, and then obviously now to rebuild. The generosity, the spirit, the goodness, the decency, the kindness, the love of Vermonters has made it possible for us to get as far as we have over the past six weeks in helping to put Vermont back together again. And as I've said many times, we are bound and determined to rebuild Vermont better than the way Irene found us. And I can't tell you how grateful I am, how grateful Lieutenant Governor Phil Scott is, who wished he could be here today, and the entire team for Vermonters' generosity and the way that they have responded to Irene. It's truly remarkable. We all said that this was going to be a marathon and not a sprint. And today, we stand here on a sunny day, on a beautiful October day, knowing that these days are limited. And we as Vermonters must redouble our efforts to ensure that because of all the Vermonters who've lost their homes, lost their businesses, lost everything that they loved and cared about, that we must continue to do everything we can to help them prepare for the tough winter that lies ahead of us. So today, we launch Vermont Cleanup Day, which will be on October 22nd, a week from this Saturday. It's the sister of Vermont's Green Up Day. We all know that Governor Dean Davis launched Green Up Day to ensure that we cleaned up Vermont, picked up the litter after a long winter. We hope the Vermont Clean Up Day will be an opportunity for Vermonters to prepare for the winter that lies ahead, to get ready for what lies ahead for our most vulnerable citizens, for those that need help. And because of Irene, we know that there's no better year to launch this effort than this year so that we can make a full recovery. Basically, Vermont Cleanup Day will have three components. There's three ways that you can help. The first is to donate dollars to the relief effort. There are many Vermonters, as we know, who are still struggling to get back on their feet and for whom Government programs, as good as they are, will not get near to filling the gap between the loss of their homes and their businesses and their possessions and what they so desperately need to get back on their feet. So making a donation to the Vermont Disaster Relief Fund is the first way that you can help. In order to do that, go to our website, vermontcleanup.org, www.vtcleanup.org, and sign up to give what you can to the Vermont Dis Disaster Relief Fund. Second, on that same website, sign up to be a volunteer for Cleanup Day on October 22nd, a week from this Saturday. We need Vermonters from across the state coming out on that Saturday to donate their time once again to the people and the communities and the projects that need us the most. We need volunteers who don't have skills. We need volunteers who have skills. We need bulldozers and backhoes. We need chainsaw operators, plumbers, and electricians. We need Vermonters from all walks of life giving a day of service to this great state. Finally, the third option on our cleanup day is to donate a good, something that will help people who've lost everything, to our goods exchange. And you can do that online on our website, Vermont Cleanup. Org, btcleanup.org. So three options. Give money, give labor, as you've done so many times over the past six weeks, once again for a full day on Saturday, or give an item and match it with someone who needs it on our exchange. Or, better yet, do all three. And that's what you, we hope you might do. More Vermonters that can help by doing all three, donating dollars that you can donate, helping us on Saturday to get the hard work done on cleanup day, as well as 
you're giving an, an item that you might not need, that another family who lost everything could need, would be des most appreciated by all of us. I'll just close by saying this. I, we've all seen extraordinary acts of goodness and courage and decency over the past six weeks. I think the conversation that most represents the spirit of this cleanup day was from a conversation that I had with a Virginia Guard member as he was pulling out of town to go back home after doing the extraordinary work that the National Guard has done to help us here, not only our Vermont Guard, but from so many states. And I thanked him for his service, gave him a pat on the back. And he said, you know, Governor, I've done a lot of these. I've done recovery efforts uh, in New Orleans after Katrina. I've done some of the most, the biggest disasters in America. And I have never seen people like the people of Vermont who chip in, who help each other out, who give to each other without asking a single question. They see it as their duty. And when we show up, they sort of see that as an extra bonus. He said in so many situations, people sit and wait for government to come and help. In Vermont, you take care of each other. That's the spirit of Vermont Cleanup Day, a week from Saturday, October 22nd. We hope that you'll join us in this effort.